Welcome to Global Signs. I'm Bruce Hahn from Los Angeles. We have the great pleasure of speaking with Andre Cherney, the dynamic CEO of Aspiration. Founded in 2013, Aspiration is an online-only financial firm that focuses on helping customers make ethical choices with their money. Aspiration has also opened an office in Seoul to work with Korean corporations, investment institutions, and government ministries to help them meet their sustainability goals and net zero carbon commitments. And recently, Aspiration launched their new credit card, Zero. Andre, welcome to Global Signs. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Can you tell our viewers what led you to set up Aspiration and what Aspiration is all about? Well, Aspiration is really in the business of helping people and other businesses to fight the climate crisis. Uh, I began my career 25 years ago working in the White House for President Bill Clinton and Vice President Al Gore. And Vice President Gore, of course, was a leader on the issues around global warming and, and the climate crisis. And we tried back then in the 1990s unsuccessfully to get people to pay attention and to respond to this challenge that was still in the distant future, but, but coming. And so Aspiration is really about helping individuals and companies have the tools to integrate sustainable action into what they are doing every day in ways that make it easy and that made it, make it automated. Not only your firm, but also many global companies seem to focus the most on the E or environment and ESG. Is there any special reasons to focus on the E? Well, all of them are important. Uh, and with Aspiration, our mission is to help people and businesses do well and do good when it comes to both the planet and to people. And we need to care about how the companies that we do business with are treating the environment, but also how they treat their employees, how they treat their workers. But the truth is, the climate crisis is something that reaches across all boundaries. And we see so many businesses that we work with in the United States, uh, in, in places around the world, that are awakening every day to a demand from their customers and their own employees to do better when it comes to sustainability. Now, ESG is sometimes confused with corporate social responsibility or CSR. What's the difference? Well, they're very different. Uh, corporate social responsibility is something that should be applauded, but it's, it's companies that are investing part of their profits into helping the community. That, that's a great thing uh, for companies to do. But, but ESG, environment, social governance practices, are really looking at how companies act day to day. From an investor's point of view, there are also concerns that ESG management could lead to increased costs. What are your thoughts on this? Done right, ESG management actually will create more investor value, even if costs may increase in the short term. I'll, I'll give you a couple of examples. When a company changes their light bulbs to be more energy efficient, that's an upfront investment. But of course, that company is going to have not only positive environmental impact, but lower energy costs over the medium term and long term. When a company spends more to have investments in its own employees and, and better benefits and better pay, they're going to be spending more on that front, but also attracting a higher caliber workforce, a more innovative workforce. And a lot of the research out there has consistently shown that those companies that do ESG management right actually do better as investment opportunities and in terms of their own financial performance. Now, what are some ways that companies can strengthen not only the E in environment, but also the S in social and the G in governance? Companies have to look at their entire structure and, and all of their practices coming together. But when it, you think about something like social, there's so many aspects of that. One is how employees are paid, uh, the kind of benefits that they receive, uh, how women are treated in the workforce. Uh, those are some of the kinds of uh, elements that make up that S. And, and for the G, it really is making sure that 
at a management level and at a board level, we're, there's proper oversight for what the company is doing. With ESG in the spotlight, sectors related to eco-friendliness, eco-friendly energy and electric vehicles, and hydrogen cars are drawing a lot of attention. Is there a sector that you think is promising? Well, I think the sustainability sector overall is incredible uh, in, its, in its promise and what it's going to yield over the coming years and, and months. The move that we're in right now, this shift to sustainability, is likely going to be the largest, fastest shift in human behavior that we've ever seen all around the world, all at the same time. When Aspiration is working with companies that want to get to net zero, that want to reduce their carbon footprint, uh, they're seeing demand from their own customers and their own employees and coming to Aspiration because of the global reputation that we've built. And as that sustainability shift continues to happen, you're going to see a lot of value creation, not just for companies like Aspiration, but across the entire landscape of those companies that are at the forefront of this dramatic change uh, to address the climate crisis. Now, Andre, besides the ESG-related sector, are there any interesting stocks or sectors that you would like to introduce to our viewers today? Well, Aspiration is, of course, at the intersection of sustainability, uh, but also in terms of financial services. And, and I, I think we have seen globally those two sectors, sustainability focus and fintech and financial services are both in the midst of this enormous change and driving an enormous change that in both of those cases, I believe is at the early stages and that you're going to see a lot of value creation over the coming years. Andre Cherney, Dynamic CEO of Aspiration, thank you so much today for sharing your insights on this truly fascinating sector. I wish you and your team continuing success. It's an honor to have been with you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being with us today. That does it for us this week. Thank you so much. Enjoy the weekend and be safe and healthy.